Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial. Uh, this is Rock and I haven't put one out in a bit. It kind of slowed down because I am all out of ideas but I've been doing a little Thomcraft research so I'm going to do a little bit more of that today. Uh, I'm going to show how to make, what was it called? The Wand of Fire and then we're going to go up to the pickaxe of the core. I'm going to show you these two things today. <clears throat> and then we'll probably go to the Wand of Frost and the Axe of the Stream next, and then the Wand of Excavation and Shovel of the Earth Mover after that. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, as you can see, I'm in all iron armor, and I, I lost so much stuff. I was in the nether farming glowstone, and I went away from the computer for, I don't know, a few minutes to grab something to eat, and I came back, and I was laying in a pool of lava, <laughs> a gas that blown me all the way over to a pool of lava. And I wish I was paying attention, but I wasn't. I was, uh, I was very mad. I had no idea where I was when I died. I was so far away. Uh, I'm still a little mad about it. But anyway, let's get started with uh, the wand of fire. The wand of fire is a pretty simple recipe. You just need a wand of the apprentice with three fire shards, and then you need to put a crucible next to it. This is on the infusion altar, by the way, which is this guy right here. Oh, sorry, my throat's a little. <clears throat> A little weird. This is the infusion altar right here. To make one of these, you just place down uh, four of these right next to each other. These are uh, arcane stone blocks, which just takes five pieces of stone and four pieces of thalmium in an arcane work table. Pretty simple. Uh, you put one of these down like this, like so. And how this works is I'm going to put the wand in here, actually, just so you can see. Uh, it instantly tells me that I need Ignis and Tellum to uh, make this. And how you do that is you put it in this right here. The crucible and that's that's how it uh it makes it it uses the, the it from the air or something weird like that I don't know it uses it somehow uh, I lost all my buckets as well so let's make a quick bucket let's take this guy let's go fill this guy up uh, yeah so I've been playing a lot of regular Minecraft uh, the feed the beast is kind of you know I kind of played myself out of it I seem to have uh, it's really cool. Obviously, I've had a lot of fun doing it. I've played a hundred, probably over 100 hours on, on Feed the Beast, and I think I'm at a point where I just want to play the regular Minecraft. Uh, I've been playing Far Cry 3 and Bioshock. If you guys have not played Bioshock or Far Cry 3, get both of them. They are some of the best games I've played in a long time. Two, two amazing games. But anyway, let's continue on. Enough about Far Cry and Bioshock, games that you should definitely go out and buy. Uh, we need Tellum, which is Arrow, Sword, and Weapon, and we need Ignis, Fire, Heat, Burn. Uh, I use Obsidian for uh, Ignis all the, most of the time, because uh, it's got two, and Obsidian's fairly cheap when you have a, see I have a lot of it, fairly cheap when you have a, a quarry set up going on. And then for Tellum, I usually use Arrows, you see, yeah, right here, because uh, I don't really use a bow and when I'm not playing like a super hostile map or something. I could use this, but it kind of is an overkill. How many swords laying around? I could use this, this sword. I got a couple in here too. That one calls for 10. What do I need? Four? Yeah, see, it's a waste. So we'll just use arrows and uh, we'll use obsidian as well. Let's go over here. So all you got to do is, so you set up the crucible right next to it. Uh, once it gets bubbling, uh, watch, I'll throw it in. We'll four arrows, one, two, three, four, and you'll see that it's been filled. It's good to go. And we'll do eight pieces of obsidian. And we'll just do it like that. And toss it in, and now it's all set. It shows you what you're about to make. You make it, as simple as that, it's very easy. Uh, and this is what it does, it shoots fire. Just, I, haven't, I haven't used it on any enemies. It makes a cool sound, did you hear that? I haven't used it on any enemies yet, but uh, you can go run and try it out. I hear a spider somewhere. Uh, let's see. I've never been over here. I never even noticed this hole over here. Look at that. It's pretty cool. I hear I hear a zombie. Yep, there we go. Oh yeah, look at that. That's cool. I hope that you. <laughs> I hope you don't need a new one. To make the the, the pickaxe, because now I've used it. But it's cool. It does have a durability. I don't want to break it down. I have one over here that I've used. Uh, it does have a durability. Uh, eventually, it will start to wear down. 
Uh, that one hasn't either, actually. So, yeah. So that's as simple as that. It shoots fire, which is cool. As you can see, you can light things on fire and stuff. You can burn down forests and stuff. Whatever you want to do with it. But, I mean, I don't use it for anything. So the only reason I made it is so we can get the axe, the pickaxe of the core. I think this is a really cool pickaxe. Uh, it's pretty simple to make. You just need a thaumium pickaxe and a wand of fire. Uh, two of two things that I, I definitely have. Uh, we have this. Oh, the air is full of something. What was that about? That was weird. Uh, so we have this. Uh, I don't know if I can use a broken one. So let's just check. I do have thaumium. I'll have to put both these in and just see what it tells me. Let's see what it says. This guy here. Yeah, yeah, I can use it. All right, so you can use broken down things. Oh, you need vis vism, which is slight sight, vision, appearance, instrumentum, which is tools, uh, flint, uh, iron, and ignis again. So we need eight more pieces of ignis, uh, one piece of iron, uh, some pieces of flint. I gotta remember what vision, vision. One of them, something has vision that's really cheap. I want to say it's quicksilver. Yes, Quicksilver. So we'll take a couple pieces of Quicksilver. Quicksilver comes from Cinnabar. If you ever see Cinnab Cinnabar in the world, uh, I just smelted all of it down, so I don't have any laying around. But uh, yeah, you just get some Quicksilver. Uh, we need Flint too. It's it's part of the Thaumia mod. I even think it's in here. Uh, it's for something. I just don't know what. Yeah, huge infused ores and shit. Stuff, my bad. Yeah, but not 100% on what it does. But anyway, let's run over here. Uh, we need, we'll do the ignis first. Do we got water in here? No. Nope. We'll let that boil up a bit. And then once I make it, well, I'll show you what it does. Uh, well, I'm going to try to pump a few out this week. Uh, I'm obviously just do these in my spare time. It's kind of a hobby. That's why I don't come out too often. Uh, I work full time. Uh, I work out of town most of the time, so I'm not home much to do this. But uh, when I am, I, I do love making these. Oops, sorry, that was my uh, council screen. You did just have to see that though. Uh, there's the Ignis is in, so put that there. The iron's in. Uh, Flint, I believe, has one. Yep. Uh, so what was it? I think I need 16. Yeah, 16 pieces of flint. Toss that in. And then vision, you need, so this one has four, I believe. Could have used this, too, instead of the piece of iron. As you can see, it's got the iron symbol right next to it. One. That was weird. Two. Suck them both in. It's got all its guys. It's got the thaumium, the wand of fire. Uh... I don't remember exactly any, yeah, say 100 vis. So you got to make sure, you, see this wand only holds 50. So you got to make sure you have the wand of the adept as well. I'll show you that real quick. There's that, simple enough. Uh, let me just show you because you do need a special wand. It's the wand of the adept, which is just a wand of the apprentice with uh, an air shard, a fire shard, an earth shard, and a water shard around it. And that's how you make it. Uh, it takes 50, which is the full use of the apprentice wand. So you need two apprentice wands because you need one in the machine too. Uh, the altar, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, that's what you do to get the pickaxe of the core. I'm just going to show you what the pickaxe of the core does. Uh, it does work with some other mods. Uh, oh, shit. It does work with some other mods. Let's run in here. Just light this up so shit stops running at me. Like copper, I believe it works with tin. Uh, let me just show you the what it what it says. Uh, by infusing time with the element of fire contained in the wand of fire, you have created a pickaxe that glows with the heat of the forge. When you mine ore blocks, there is a chance that you will mine a cluster of native ore instead. Native ore is much easier to process and produces double the amount of metal. Pickaxe can also be used to sound out any surface to the... The pickaxe can also be used to sound out any surface you, you right-click against to find out what the highest value expect is that it can be found within the limited area of direction. What? I've never done that before. Let me try that real quick. So it says to right click. Six. 
What the? What does that mean? Six. Six. Eight. One. What does that mean? Because does that mean there's eight of them here? Let's try one, two, three, four, five, six. Huh. No way there's five of these. One, two. Yeah. So I'm not sure what that means. If anyone knows, I'd, I'd love to know. But uh, let's mine out a few ore. Uh, see these chunks I keep picking up every so often? They're very rare, in my opinion. I've gotten seven pieces of iron. I've got two native iron clusters. So, I mean, you don't get them too often. Uh, I don't think they work with coal. It, it's a pretty quick, quick pick, too, as you can see. I don't know what that means. I'd love to know. Like, why has this got that? This has that. Maybe it's behind it? I have no idea. Sorry, I lost my train of thought for a bit. All right, so let's run up and let me just show what they do. Uh, in the Feed the Beast mod, in my, in my opinion, uh, it's not that worth it because in the Feed the Beast mod, I have this macerator machine which takes iron ore takes the iron ore and it macerates it into iron dust and you get two per if I so why need I don't need a pick to do that but we'll just put it in here uh, turn that off for a second and see I got three uh, one must have already been sucked out yeah see so when you break it down you you get two per but you know you get two per for here too uh, why are these in here so, I mean, in, in the Feed the Beast mod, it's not really worth it. It's super cool looking, though. Look at this guy. And now I can click stuff, and it, it tells me random facts that I have no idea what they mean. Uh, we can mine this out. Get a few more. Uh, the whole problem I have with the Feed the Beast mod, too, is I, I love exploring. Uh, I have a world that that's all I do is I just, you know, it's, there's so many cool things to see. In the Feed the Beast mod, you need like you need a base like this. Okay, I'm sorry about that. I received a phone call. Uh, but yeah, so you know they're they're cool and all. Uh, the Thom the Thomcraft mod seems like it'd be a cool standout mod um, by itself on say uh, just regular vanilla Minecraft. If you just uh, imported just this mod, I think it'd be a sweet mod to have. I really do. But on the Feed the Beast mod, I find it to be underpowered. Did I turn that back on? So that's my thought. Uh, next time we will be hopping into the Wand of the Frost or the Wand of the Excavation. I'm not sure yet. The Terra Territor. Territor. Light them up. Revenge is a dish served as cold. Um, yeah, we'll get one of these. I, I like both of these these two picks and this axe and this shovel, I mean. Uh, I do want one more thing on here. I want to get the Boots of the Traveler to show those off because those are cool, but I have not... I have not gotten that far on here yet. So that should be it for this episode. Um, it should be uploaded on Friday. Uh, I've been doing a little work out here. I got some farms going on, planting some trees. I'm trying to make a, uh, some bookshelves and stuff. So I'm doing that. I built a little hut that doesn't really have anything in it yet. It's kind of empty. A little table and chairs in the background. That's about it. Kind of, I don't know, I just want to put a little feeling in here, like someone lives in this glass bowl, or, you know, eh, something. But anyway, that's it for this episode. Uh, I'll be uploading another one sometime, eventually. And thank you guys for watching, thank you for subscribing, thank you for liking. You guys have a good day.